Hey everyone! Today we're going to be making a classic takeout dish, sweet and sour pineapple chicken. Let's start with the sauce. We're going to need pineapple juice, soy sauce, brown sugar, and hoisin sauce. Mix it all together and set it aside. For the rest of our mise en place, we're going to julienne some peeled ginger and mince some garlic. We want to cut all our vegetables to relatively even sizes. To the bell pepper, cut it in half and then cut the bottom off and slice through the bell pepper to create an opening. Next, lay it flat and slice off the white parts and then cut into 1 inch squares. For at the bottom, cut it in half and then cut it into squares. Try and trim off any white parts. Now repeat the same cuts for the red bell pepper. For the onions, we're using a quarter of one. We're just going to cut diagonally to make a wedge and then cut it in half crosswise. Just cut them to be around the same size as your bell peppers. I want to add a little heat to the dish, so I'm going to split some red chilies in half. You can leave the chilies out if you don't want the heat or just de-seed the chilies and it will still add a little kick to it. Now I want to show you guys how to make a pineapple boat like the one you saw on my cover photo. You don't have to do this but it's really fun to eat out of. Using the longest knife you have, stab the pineapple through the center and then bring it down to cut it in half. Then use a small paring knife to carve around the edges of the pineapple to help loosen the flesh. Make incisions down both sides of the core. And then take a spoon and spoon out the flesh. Now the pineapple pieces we got from here are not the prettiest, so we're going to use the other half to cut clean pieces out of them. Cut the top and bottom off to create a flat base. Prop it up and then slice off the skin. Next, cut it into 4 wedges. Slice the core off and cut into half inch thick pieces. Again, we want them to be around the same size as our bell peppers. Finally, for the chicken, we're going to tenderize it by beating it with the back of our knife. Then cut them into 1 inch chunks and then put them in a mixing bowl, add some salt, cornstarch, oil and water and massage it all together. I'm sure you've noticed the huge mess I'm making here because my bowl is too small so I'm just going to transfer everything to a bigger bowl and continue to massage all the ingredients together. Next, pour 2 cups of oil into the skillet over medium heat. We want the temperatures to reach 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also check in by sticking a chopstick into the oil. If you see bubbles rise up, it means your oil is ready. Slowly place the chicken into the oil one by one. We don't want the oil to splatter. Make sure you don't overcrowd the pan and cook them in batches if you need to. After a minute and a half, flip it over and cook the other side for a minute and a half as well. When you're done with this batch, remove it into a strainer and let the oil drain out. Don't worry if the color is looking kind of pale. We're going to refry them one more time and the refry method will make sure that your chicken comes out crunchy. Continue to fry the rest of the chicken and when you're done, remove any fried bits that were left in the oil. We don't want them to burn and affect the flavor of the chicken. I have all my fried chicken on a cooling rack here. And same as before, we're going to work in batches and fry them again for about 2 minutes. Once you see that it's taken on a beautiful golden color, you can flip it over and cook the other side. Once it's golden brown all over, remove it onto a cooling rack. Before we make the sweet and sour sauce, let's make the cornstarch slurry. Add a couple of teaspoons of cornstarch into a small bowl and then we're just going to add a couple of tablespoons of water and just stir it in one direction to mix it in. 
In a large skillet, heat some oil over high heat and add the ginger and garlic. Stir it around for 30 seconds and then add the red chilies and stir fry for another 30 seconds. Pour in the sweet and sour sauce that we mixed earlier and cook for 2 minutes until it starts to thicken. Add in the onions, bell peppers, then season with salt and stir fry for another 2 minutes. We're almost there guys, we were gonna add in our pineapple, our fried chicken, stir fry for another minute till everything is coated in the sauce and finally we're gonna give our cornstarch slurry a good stir and pour it in. The sauce will start to thicken immediately. Let it cook for another minute and if it gets too thick, you can add a couple tablespoons more water and your sweet and sour pineapple chicken is ready. Now serve everything into the beautiful pineapple boat that we carved out earlier. Garnish with some sesame seeds and cilantro and serve it with hot rice. I hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe below. If you try this recipe, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Good luck in the kitchen. I'll see you guys in the next video.